I've hunted with many people over the years and have been privileged enough to meet professional marksmen at competitions and trade shows all over the world. But there's one guy that stands out as a consistent performer, and that's Thane Simmons. Thane is not only one of the best hunters I've ever met, but he's also my good friend. And today we're lucky enough to have a whole bunch of footage to look through and analyze, courtesy of the man himself. For those of you who don't know who Thane is, he's the co-owner of Sideshot, along with his dad Vel. They make the scope cam that I use on my channel. And just recently, he's also started a company called Saber Tactical, along with his dad and Donnie from Donnie FL. They'll be making accessories for PCPs, including some awesome stuff that I've currently got on my impact. Thane lives and breathes hunting, as you can probably tell by the van that is kitted out for the sole purpose of being a mobile air gun room for pest control trips from farm to farm. You may recall that I made a few videos last year with Thane in Utah. We went out and shot ground squirrels and rock chucks with Justin Jacobson of Utah Air Guns. Well, that's basically Thane's backyard, and we're going to be looking through some of Thane's personal footage today, starting with the good old impact shooting 25 kill slugs. 154 yards, gonna be a little left to right, go for a headshot. The slug curls in perfectly on this first shot for a headshot, and it's dead on the spot. The next shot here is at a squirrel. I believe this was also from the 25 kill Nielsen slugs. And again, it's a perfect shot, this time from much closer. One good way to practice for hunting is to pick a random rock, find a firing solution, and see if you can hit it on the first shot. This teaches you to estimate wind accurately and to find a firing solution quickly. Absolutely essential skills for long range hunting. Here's Thane taking some long range practice shots with the 357 American Air Arms Slayer and when the time comes to line up on a chuck he's ready for it. Alright about 126 yards with the Slayer. Let's go for a headshot. Shoot a little left to right. That's a couple hundred foot pounds to the head. Effective and humane. 126 yards. We're switching to 22 caliber now, shooting 30 grain hollow point Nielsen slugs, and Thane's got invasive European starlings lined up. Starlings were actually introduced to both the US and South Africa from England, and have become a huge problem in both countries. So Thane and I share a mutual hate for these annoying birds, and they have to go. And of course, there'll always be a few close ones too. 65 foot pounds to the chest does the trick. Myself, my dad, and, and Donnie from Donnie FL, uh, we started a company called Saber Tactical. So, um, really cool company. Um, as you know, we've made a lot of neat things like the high cap mag for this, uh, for the impact and some other products, the side shot scope cam, um, a lot of different things. Well, to put all those things under one umbrella um, and come out with more and more products for you guys, we came out with this cheek riser under Saber Tactical um, and a double ambidextrous caulking lever. So basically it's super, super simple. Just loosen these screws, pop the pins, pull this, stick it on the other side, pop them back in and you're ready to go. So if you need to do some really fast shooting, you can keep your hand on the trigger and fire. And then I don't have my Allen wrenches on me, but as well as this will raise up and down, you know, depending on your scope height. So it just makes it more customized.
I'm not 100% sure which caliber or ammo was used in these next few ground scroll hunting clips, but judging by the recoil, I'd say either a 30 cal JSB or 25 cal slug. I want to point out that very few of these shots are extremely steady. In other words, the skill set needed for bench shooting and hunting can be very, very different. With bench shooting, it's all about keeping your rifle still and a slow trigger pull. With hunting, it can often be a case of timing your trigger pull to perfection, knowing that you cannot possibly keep the crosshair still. It's one of the reasons I have my trigger on my impact set as a single stage trigger. This is a skill that translates to PRS and NRL competitions as well, and perhaps that's why Fan and I have done so well in the past couple of years. This concept of timing your trigger pull can also apply to target shooting. Here's Thane shooting a group on a barrel at long range with 22 caliber slugs and despite the shaking he manages to stack them on top of each other. Place the barrel with a chuck at 140 yards and you'll put a slug through its head time after time. I got a chuck here about 140 yards away. A huge advantage of actually recording your shots on camera is that you can analyze them afterwards. When reviewing the footage, Thane can tell whether the pellet or slug landed where he wanted it to. He can tell whether a particular slug or gun or setup is working the way he wants it to work. And he can tell when he's just pulled a shot. All of us have taken a shot at some stage in our life, missed it and thought to ourselves, well, I wish I could just see a replay of that so I could tell what went wrong. Well, when you're filming through the scope, you can see everything in extreme detail. In fact, the detail was so extreme that I had to actually refrain from uploading certain clips that Thane sent me because they were just too graphic. Thane is able to tell from these clips whether a particular pellet or slug is hitting higher or lower than expected and can change his drop date accordingly for the next hunt. And of course, it's just so much fun to be able to watch all your shots afterwards. And a few more from a little bit closer, just to finish off the day. I'm really hoping to get Thane over to South Africa sometime in the future. He's been drooling over my Oxwagon Diaries videos and is really keen to get some dussies and monkeys, so hopefully we'll make that happen. Until then, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you in the next one. Keep well, guys.